Hi everyone, Keith Arsno here for HartfordHawks.com with your Muya Player of the Week this week coming from the men's golf team, junior Pat Ross. Pat, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Big week for you this week, helping the Hawks to a team win in the Hartford Hawk Invitational up at Bulls Bridge. You shot uh, what at that point was a career best 69 in the first round playing from the lead. You ended up finishing fourth in the tournament. Describe your play in that tournament and how you were able to do it. Um, well, I wasn't hitting the ball as well as I have been. So uh, that that week leading up to it, I really like worked on my game, my, my ball striking. And I found it on the first day. And uh, it's just great getting us our first win in a long time. Yeah, first win for the team since the 2007-2008 season. And that was obviously in the tournament that they were hosting at Bulls Bridge. Big win for you then. You follow that up over the weekend at the McDonald Cup with what is now your career low round a 68, helping the team to a second place finish in the McDonald Cup. How did it feel to you know not only win in that first game, but then second place as a team and your career low round? Um, I mean, it was big to show everybody that it wasn't just a fluke to win. Um, coming back and playing in a strong field against Yale's events, always a good field. So, I mean, we just happy to come in second place, but we know we can keep going because we're better than that. Now, in the Hartford Hawk Invitational, team won by 20 strokes, playing in front the entire time. And like you said, not beating cupcakes. You beat teams like UConn, Boston College, Rhode Island. And then in the second tournament at Yale, you're playing teams from the Ivy League, solid teams playing from behind, though, and you still had a positive result. As an individual, which one did you kind of prefer, playing out in front or playing from behind and going up in the pack? Um. Well, it's tough playing out in front, and um, I, I'm proud of my team because, I mean, we increased our lead by 11, which is uh, pretty substantial. So, um, I mean, I'd probably take the being in the lead, but at the same time, it's fun trying to come from behind and being the underdog to come and win. And we fell short, but it was a good, good tournament for us. Now, if you look at the Hawks lineup that's been playing in your first three tournaments this year, it's been composed of two freshmen, two sophomores, and you, the elder statesman, as a junior. How does it feel to, to now be, as, with Matt Smith's departure, you're the team leader now? It's definitely different. Um, my first two years, I was definitely the youngest pretty much at every event I went to. And just to be flipped for in a year, it's pretty, it's a cool thing. Uh, but the freshmen on our team are playing great. They've been a huge part of our success and just hopefully um, we can have more wins coming down the stretch here. All right, well, best of luck in the upcoming weeks. You've got the Connecticut com Cup coming up. Pat Ross shooting two career best rounds this week, a 69 at Bulls Bridge before a 68 at the course at Yale in the McDonald Cup, helping the Hawks to a first place finish and a runner up finish. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsno with your Mooyah Player of the Week, Pat Ross.